Hello everyone, this is your girl Melody Trice and you are watching the Melody Trice Show. We are live here on the red carpet, but we're actually on the inside enjoying the breeze. So I want you guys to stay tuned to all the amazing interviews that's going to happen right here. We'll be right back. I'm Ferdinand. You look at me and think big. You think scary. But I'm a little misunderstood. Sorry I almost killed you! Kids with learning and attention issues are misunderstood too. Take the time to understand. Learn more at understood.org. You know, I mean, it, it's an honor. It's 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 so it feels great to be a part of something that you know I've been with UFC for almost ten years. So to be a part of a you know one of the fastest growing sports in the world from the beginning and to be in the encyclopedia, it feels just it feels like an honor. Up to everyone. Hi, I am CJ Lana Perry, also known as the Ravishing Russian Lana from WWE. Well, look, that's amazing. And you know, with sports and being able to just be in that ring, what did that feel like? Oh, it's amazing. It's, it's the adrenaline rush just goes right through your body. I've been a professional dancer my whole entire life. I've always been really athletic. I break dance. And so it's, there's nothing like the feeling of being in that ring when you're competing and fighting, fighting for what you believe in. And I love it. I'm so grateful to be able to do what I love. Okay, and one of the things about us is living life unlimited and really showcasing, letting people know that they are not limited. You know, there are a lot of kids out there, a lot of girls who look up to you and would love to do and be as beautiful as she is, you guys. So what encouraging words would you say to them right now if they was right here standing before you? I would say passionately pursue your dreams. Like, go for it no matter what. Like, go for your dreams. Like, the, in your life, there's going to be so many people that are going to tell you that you can't do it. There's going to be so many people that would say you're not talented enough, that you're not going to make it. Your dreams won't come true, and you just have to go like this. Like, put your hater blockers on, okay. and just, like, keep on chasing your dreams. If you fall flat on your face, don't be afraid to make uh, mistakes. Don't be afraid to fail, because you are going to fail a lot of times, but it's what you do with the failures that are going to define your success. It's going to define your destiny. And just get back up and continue to chase the things that set your soul on fire. I That's what made great. So I think it's something that we really didn't see that much of 10 years ago, whereas now you kind of see it and it's a little bit more common. And it's because of women that have kind of gone out there and paved the way for so many more women to be sitting up there with all those guys on a Sunday. I grew up a huge sports fan, a huge football fan. And it took a while, I feel like, for people to kind of realize that, wow, you really can contend. And I certainly, I've never played it down in my life, so I'm not saying I could go line up there. But do I love the sport? Yes. Do I? Am I passionate about it? Absolutely. Uh, I just, whatever I'm focusing on, I just go 100% at it. It matter is, you know, my diet, uh, my running, or my, you know, my weightlifting, my weightlifting, you know, just focusing on what my coach had me plan to do, studying tape, so... I mean, whatever I'm doing, I really just put 100% effort into it, and it, it just a lot comes out of it. Well, one of the things about it is you are totally unlimited, and I know you were saying how you are preparing for a graduation right now. So, what do that mean to you to be accomplishing so many things? I mean, as a black black kid, it means a lot. So, I mean, I'm from Compton, California. So, I mean, I come from a rough background. So, uh, I mean, it means everything to me. You know, I got a big family, so I got a little sister that looks up to me as well. So I got a lot to prove and I got a lot to do. So, I mean, it's just part of being who I am and what I want to accomplish in life and what I want to do. So, well, A lot of young boys look up to you and even, you know, girls seeing a young black man being so successful. What encouraging words would you say to them right now? I mean, uh, have God as your number one priority. And, uh, and like I said, whatever you do, put 100% effort into it and something will come out of it. And I know also you have a, a beauty product line. Yes. So men's and women's skincare. It's called Myristica and Manish W. All natural. And for the bronze people, hey. hey. How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> and I got to tell you, I'm so glad to see you because I didn't think I was, to be honest, I was thinking sports. I was expecting all men. I wasn't expecting a lot of diversity. That's a big thing that's on my mind right now. So I'm just happy to see you. Oh, well, thank you. Because, you know, one of the things about it is, is my show is all about Life Unlimited. And when you say diversity and women and seeing so much happening with, with diversity in pretty much in everything, what do that mean to you to just see that coming to the forefront right now? I see it, but I don't really see it at the level that we need to yet. So absolutely, the glass ceiling is still there, not in my company, not in my businesses. But absolutely, that glass ceiling is still there. I'm in finance and investment world, and I'm typically still the only female 
Wow, really? Typically always the only female. So we still have a long way to go. But at the same time, there's a lot of great men out there. And I happen to have a lot of fantastic men partners. And, uh, you know, we're all trying to row the same way. And we're all trying to see a lot of diversity out there. So it's fun. Journalism, know your stuff, and they will be in awe because you have such a gift to give. So, yes, yay for you. Oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> yay for us, right? Yes. Look, tell everybody your social media so they continue to follow you. I'm Twyla True. So if you just look up Twyla True, um, and again, 50 companies in the portfolio. I look at a lot of deals. So if there's something that people think I might be interested in, you know, please go ahead and send it. And I, I personally look at a lot of the deals. Well, baby. Nailed it. You are watching the Melody Trice Show. I am here with Justin Peck. How you doing? I'm doing awesome. How are you? I'm doing good. You know, one of the things about it, he is a professional race car driver. Well, really big trucks, right? Yeah, we, we like to play in the dirt. <laughs> And the dirt car racing, I, you know, one of the things about it, you know, you can choose a lot of things to do. So what really made you say, this is what I want to do, and guess what? He's loving it. Oh, yeah. I, I mean, there's nothing like doing 160 miles an hour <laughs> across the dirt for 12 hours straight. Like, it's, it, it, it's the most incredible thing ever. Oh, my God. So, look, you know, what has been the most, I guess, exciting moment for you in your career that really say... I love what I do. There is, it's almost like a drug when you win, right? So it is, that's what that's what we're always pushing for is the win. Yeah. And so I've, I've had the opportunity to win a couple national championships in it. And so when you know that you're the fastest guy in the country, it is just, uh, That's an adrenaline rush that's just, it's just, it's just, it's legit, it, it's legit. So look, w tell us one thing that keeps you motivated. I know you said the win, but what, you know, is it someone that look, because a lot of kids look up to you. What encouraging words would you say to them right now to just say, you know what, this is what I do, but this is who I am? You know, honestly, who I am, I'm a family guy. So I do it, so I have, I have children, I have grandbabies. And grandbabies? I have, I have grandbabies, yeah, I actually have grandbabies. So I, um, I, I've been racing a long time, 20, uh, like 26 years now. And honestly, the reason why I push so hard now is we're a racing family. And so my kids come and race with me. And, and so it's just, for me, it's the racing, it's the family, it's the, it's the, the camaraderie that I have with my friends. I mean, it's just, it's just, it's a good life. It's a family affair. It's a family affair. Adrian Ray, you might know me from Atlanta or Superfly, um, actor, singer, model. All that good stuff. All that good stuff. Maybe songwriter too, huh? Maybe. 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 Got a couple songs. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, being here today, you know, any particular, uh, you know, sports that you really can say, this is my sport, this is what I love to watch? Well, what I love to watch, I really love track and field. Mm. I do. I, I like running track. I ran, I grew up running track. I did the four by one, four by two. I did triple jump, long jump hurdles. So, hurdles? When the hurdles come on for the Summer Olympics, it's a wrap. It's a wrap. Everything shuts down. So look, you know, being here today, you know, and seeing black women, women of color making a stance, what did that feel like and what did that mean to you? It feels emancipating. It feels absolutely beautiful. It feels like a, a moment of like, finally. Yeah. Finally, we're embracing ourselves. We're uplifting each other. Finally, we're getting the recognition that we've always should have had. Mm -hmm. And and I just think it's the most beautiful thing that like I can I can fathom right now. Wow. Literally, I, I love it. I adore it. Oh, I seeing women in the industry, seeing Serena doing her thing, and so many women really making a statement right now. What do that feel like to you? Very empowering. It really. Um, it lets all women, especially our younger generation, know that they can go after whatever it is that they desire to do. So it's very impactful, beautiful. And I know, you know, a lot of kids look up to you and see a lot of things that you both are doing. So what encouraging words would you say to them to really say life really is unlimited? Discipline, determination, dedication. That's what it takes. That's what I preach all the time. If you have those three things and you make that a focus, you can make whatever you want to happen, happen. What about you? Never give up. If you have a dream, you can achieve it. 
go after it. My name's Savannah Kennick. And so being here today, what did that mean to you to just be here today to really just celebrate fashion as well as the sports industry? I mean, I love fashion. My dad loves sports, so I'm making him really happy. Okay. Well, you look amazing. Oh, thank you. You look beautiful, girl. Um, and look, the lashes, everything, y'all. I'm like flabbergasted, girl. <laughs> Stop, queen. Okay. okay. We are queens. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so look, one of the things about it, you know, seeing women in sports, what do that mean to you to just see women really not limited in no area? I mean, it's amazing. We live in such a really interesting time in the world where misogyny and sexism is kind of getting thrown out the door, finally. finally. Because that Me Too movement really made a difference. It really did. I mean, my mom works in the medical industry, and how much even that has changed. Oh, really? Wow. That makes a difference because women don't really have to take what they used to take. It really didn't have to take it then. It's just really knowing you, your voice and who you really are. Exactly. You can kind of demand back your power now, which I don't think we could have done before. Yeah, exactly. Well, look, tell everybody what you're currently working on yourself. Of course. So I just had a film call, come out called Bloom, where I won Best Actress at the Hollywood Real Independent Film Festival. Yay. Very exciting. Congratulations. Thank you. And then I had a YouTube Red Show come out called Liza On Demand, starring Liza Koshy. She's a YouTube star. She has more followers than there are people in Canada. <laughs> and then I have a film coming out called Do Not Okay, look, everyone. <laughs> I, I am here with... Chinadu. So one of the things about it you was talking about was really about fashion. Yes. And, you know, everybody loves to be fashionable. What really made you say, okay, this is the industry that I want to yeah. go in, and I want to really educate other people yeah. about it? Because it's something that is, in everything that you do, you make an impression, right? And fashion is no different. Uh, when you step into a room, first thing you do is you make an impression. People look at you and they, right, they make their assessment and you either confirm that or you go against that. And I feel it's important to put your best foot forward, present your best self, and that starts with the outer, but it's confirmed with the inner. Good, thank you. You know, that is that movie, oh my God, and being there with Oprah Winfrey, yeah. so many other people, what did that feel like? Because you inspired a lot of young girls. Oh my God, it was so amazing, just the experience. And then when I heard that I was going to work like on set with like Ava DuVernay, the director and everything, <laughs> I was like, wait, what? Yeah. Like I never, knew, I never knew that would happen. It was so incredible. Well, look, you're 14 years old. You're making it happen. You have a voice of a songbird. You know, tell us a little bit about your music. Well, I do have a new song coming out in August, which I'm so excited for. It's with Sony Music. Oh, wow. And I have a new music video coming out with it. And yeah. You can do it when you want to. You dictate your world. Exactly. Well, I like this face because it's totally true and I'm very clear who I am and what I want. So I think my album would have been different 30 years ago. Exactly. Right? You, you happen at the right time. Exactly. For yeah. sure. And I've been uh, doing business coaching and, per and personal coaching for 20 years, which I love, right? I saw the gleam. I saw the gleam. Yes. Hello, everybody. It has been so amazing being here today. So you guys, continue to watch the Melody Try Show, where we really do believe life is unlimited. And don't forget, we are now on Roku. Add my channel, Melody Trice Television. Till next time, I'm your girl, Melody Trice. Bye. Big up. Big up Big the up. Melody Trice Show. One of the best shows in the business. There you go. There you go. Hey.